So here we go then, day one of my 100 day project doing compositional analysis of master paintings. Here is Rubens, Sampson and Delilah that's in the National Gallery in London, painted in 1609. And the reason I've selected this painting is that there's quite a few compositional lines that I can see that are immediately obvious. And let's get stuck into that. Firstly, let's have a look at it as a no-tan. So this is just black and white. Anything that lights goes white, anything that's dark goes black. And you can see that it's a very interesting collection of abstract shapes that seem to group into two main areas. Firstly, you've got the, the main group where the action's taking place, and then you've got a balancing secondary group of the soldiers that are waiting outside the door. And you can see that if you didn't have those soldiers there, the whole composition would be out of balance. One of the reasons that I selected this image is there's a very striking diagonal that's going across the composition. And this was always called a sinister diagonal. And um, so it kind of implies that there's something a little bit sinister going on, which of course we know that there is in the main story. But look at the strong diagonal that goes from top left to bottom right. Now let's have a look at the lines of sight of the figures in the painting. You've got the soldiers outside, one's looking to the other soldier, that other soldier is looking around the door to the action that's taking place, and the characters in the main group are then looking at the cutting of Samson's hair. There are some very interesting verticals that are going on in this painting, and I think that it's to contrast with the curvature of the figures that I'll go on to in just a second just to provide some kind of stability. And I think that it also provides a wall between the action that's taking place and the soldiers outside. Talking of curves, this is the main curve that I could see in the composition. Goes from the, let's call him the barber's head, uh, through Delilah, through her arm, up through her foot, and then that points us back to the soldiers. So there's a sort of circular route that our eyes can take around the canvas. And of course the other main curve is in Samson's back, which is just here that brings us from Delilah's feet through Samson's back into Samson's head, just to show that he is asleep and completely oblivious as to what's going on. There's another curve that I found here that's going from the barber's head through Samson's arm. And you could argue that that extends back up into that little sculpture that's in the relief of the back wall there. Now I do like to look at triangles in compositions and this is no exception. I felt that there were triangles everywhere and you can probably see some that I've missed but here are some of the main triangles that I could see that are interlocking and providing interest all over the canvas and remember that it's all in line with that initial oblique diagonal. So that's the first one. Rubens, Samson and Delilah painted in 1609 in the National Gallery in London. I hope you found that interesting. More tomorrow.